Guys, everyone's turning off their phones. Okay, good evening. Welcome to Dewpoint. Uh, good evening to everyone tuned in on the live stream from around the country. Welcome. Uh, my name is Rob van der Beel. I'm one of the executives here at Dewpoint. Um, I'm going to be spending the next 45 to 60 minutes with you discussing what Dewpoint is all about, what the opportunity is about, who we are. And uh, after the presentation, you're welcome to ask me any questions. Okay. All right, so let's begin. Uh, you're at our head office. Uh, Dewpoint is actually a division of another company uh, called Constantia Insurance Company Limited. Constantia is a fully fledged insurance company uh, that is registered in South Africa, formed in 1952, a very old company listed on the Joburg Stock Exchange under a company called Conduit Capital. Uh, that's their building in the background, their orange logo that they use. The FSP number that we operate under is that one that you see over there. And then you'll notice in the foyer above our water cooler, we've got all these certificates up on the wall. Those are licenses with the FSB. We've got a sh long and short term insurance license. We've got our investment license. We've got our FSP license on display. We've also got our accreditation with the direct marketing and the direct selling association. So go take a look at that wall. Um, it is very important that uh, you build some credibility with the business that we're going to be speaking about because if we're going to be entering into a partnership after this presentation, you need to trust the company that you're going to be partnering with or at least potentially partnering with. So go take a look at that. The individuals uh, here at Dewpoint, at least the executives and the senior managers here at Dewpoint, are these good-looking people you see up on the screen. Uh, the three characters on the far left are all chartered accountants registered in South Africa. So starting with Brendan, who you saw here this evening, he's our senior executive. Uh, he heads up uh, Dewpoint. We're very fortunate to have him leading this business because he's got a lot of experience in financial services, particularly in insurance. Uh, his father is a professor of insurance, so Brendan has only known about insurance his entire life because his father's been involved in insurance for 50 years, taught at WITS, um, like I said, a professor of insurance. His father actually founded Clientel Life. Um, among a host of other businesses globally, um, had a lot of success in it. Brendan and he's got a brother, Stuart, followed in their father's footsteps. Uh, they together founded a business down the road called Prime Meridian Direct or PMD. And you'll probably know PMD because they do a lot of advertising on different media platforms all the time. A very successful short-term insurer. We've got Tim Reynolds, experienced in corporate banking. He was with the First Rand Group for about 15 years, fairly senior position there, uh, reported directly to the board of executives of the First Rand Group. Uh, he heads up our regulatory and our accounting aspects in our business. Stacey supports him in that. Um, She's a very experienced auditor. She worked with Deloitte uh, all her working career, locally as well as overseas, before she came and joined the team here at Dewpoint. And then the two non-accountants, Jane and myself. Jane is very experienced in direct marketing, direct selling. She brings that experience from a European or the UK base with her here to our team here in South Africa. Um, because even though we're an insurance company, our growth is predicated around our success in network or referral marketing. Right. Um, so Jane brings that experience and then myself, I've been working in marketing and advertising all my working career. I started at my own company um, in the mid 90s, uh, ran it fairly successfully. Um, I exited that business um, about three years ago. Uh, and I'll touch on why I walked away from that business later in the presentation because it's fairly relevant to all of us here. So this is the team. Again, I hope we lend credibility to this business offering that we're going to be speaking about. Uh, you're welcome to go do a background check on us. You can Google our name, see if we come up on Hello Peter or any other complaint websites, right? You want to be sure about who you're getting involved with. Um, our mandate here as staff of Dewpoint is to support everyone that joins us in this business. So everything that we do here at Dewpoint, uh, we're always asking ourselves, are we doing enough? Uh, are we providing enough support for the people that join us in this partnership? Uh, we want to collaborate with you towards your success because as a business, we can only be successful and profitable as a company if you guys are being profitable and successful. And so we want to see you successful. So everything that we do here is to collaborate with you towards your success. Okay, so that's a little bit of background on Dewpoint and Constantia. Um, debt is the worst poverty. So we kind of discuss some of the driving factors as to why people would be sitting here on a Tuesday evening. Because I'm sure everyone would rather be at home, waiting for generations to come on, getting ready for dinner, right? Um, but we find ourselves here in a business presentation. So I understand, or I would imagine that every person here has got a need right? So the person that invited you here alluded to some financial opportunity. They might have said very blatantly to you, do you want more money? Yes or no? And you said yes, and you find yourselves here. 
So some of the driving factors, because like I said, there are way better things to do than come to business presentations in the week, uh, in the evenings. We find ourselves here because employment isn't the solution to our problems currently. Um, and there are a number of driving factors uh, that make employment the problem that it is today. So sure, employment's great for earning a salary, but it kind of ends there. Unfortunately, uh, you know, we all have different circumstances. We're living in an economy that's been in a recession for the last six months. We've got nearly 10 million people unemployed. The, the country as a whole is not growing fast enough. Uh, the workplace has become extremely competitive. Your salary hasn't gone up in line with inflation every year. Has anyone's salary gone up in line with inflation? So what's inflation been sitting? Between 5 and 7% for the last seven years? Has your salary gone up 5 and 7% every year? Right? No one's salary's gone up 5 and 7%. Not even mine. I need to go have a word with Brendan. Um, <laughs> but what's happening is, uh, for most South Africans, is that your salary is actually devaluing against what the cost of living is. Because the cost of living, inflation, is growing. It's rising at 5, 6, 7%. Food inflation is even higher than that. You know because you go buy groceries. And you're shocked as much as I am, I think, when you get to the till and you think, how can one packet of groceries cost 300 rand or 400 rand, right? So we're all in the same situation. And these driving factors, the economy, debt, have brought you to this presentation. And I hope that over the next few minutes, I'm going to enlighten you as to a solution to change your circumstance, because that's really what we want to do. We want to change our circumstances. But to carry on in line with these driving factors, we have this, uh, this problem where our salaries are devaluing against what the cost of living is. Uh, South Africans are often criticized for engaging too often in debt instruments, right? Because what we try to do is we try to cover this gap that's forming between the cost of living and salary by using debt, right? I read a shocking article last week that one of the big grocery retailers now wants to provide credit. So now you can go buy food on credit, right? <gasps> Isn't that a bad idea? That is just going to put you in a corner, right? It's going to exacerbate our position. So we are criticized for engaging in too many debt instruments, but I think it's because of the circumstance that we find ourselves in. And then unfortunately, we, to add to all of our issues, we've got this thing called retirement that eventually uh, we have to face. And retirement is the same as retrenchment. There's no salary at the end of the month. It either happens. Um, and often we turn a blind eye to retirement, right? I mean, I did it for 20 years. I didn't really know what my position was going to be when I got to retirement. I was um, so fully engaged in my business, hoping that my business was going to make me wealthy, that I ignored what retirement looked like for me at the time. And I wasn't putting enough money away. I wasn't saving money. I was I always had credit card debt, um, buy a new car when you thought you could afford it, things like this. And we don't look at retirement. And unfortunately, retirement is a reality for all of us, right? Because 98% of our population, South Africans, will get to retirement with not enough money to get through the month. That's just a fact, 98%. So there's about 30 people in the room Maybe one person in the room is going to get to retirement and be able to actually get by month to month when they get to retirement. Um, so we have all these, these facts facing us. Um, they're all negative, unfortunately. And as I said, this leads you to being here because you've been given the opportunity to come listen to a business presentation with a little bit of hope in your heart that you're going to hear something today that will help you change your circumstance, that will move you out of this 98% into the 2%. But you might have some more short-term goals, but let's discuss that later. Um, so out of all the negativity as a business, as an enterprise, we saw an opportunity to create a business, to create a platform, a system for the average South African to engage in, to again change their circumstance. The Dewpoint system was launched last year in February uh, with three aspirations in mind for the people that join our business. So we've actually got goals for you. You can decide whether you can want to align yourself with our goals or not. But our first goal for you is to see you become debt-free. Wouldn't that be nice to be completely debt-free? Do you know what debt-free looks like? Let me paint a little picture for you of what debt-free looks like. So come the end of the month, which was last week, this would have happened. You would have got your cell phone, would have made a beeping noise, right? And then you looked at your cell phone and you went, Ah, I've been paid my salary. Great. Right? Now you're happy because it's the weekend, you can go shopping. But straight after that SMS, you got a whole bunch of other SMSs. Suddenly the phone started going crazy. 
beep, 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 beep. You thought there was a family emergency. You took out your phone. You looked, ah, it's your debit orders. Right? This is what happens to all of us. All of us. It doesn't matter how much money you earn. Everyone's in the same boat, right? When you become debt-free, you get one SMS from your employer saying they've paid you. You get an SMS from Dewpoint saying we've paid you a return. And then your phone is silent. You don't have debit orders. You own the car you drive. You own the house that you live in. You pay for the kids' education one year up front. Twelve months up front. Paid. That's what debt-free looks like. Right? Our second aspiration that leads on from that is your ability to now start creating wealth for yourself. And that is by investing your money and starting to create value in an asset that you have ownership over. Right? Second aspiration. Third aspiration, just to be happier. As Brendan will often say in his training seminars, he'll say money isn't everything, but it's about 95% of everything, unfortunately. So if we can solve that problem for you, I would assume that 95% of your life will look good. And we'll be happier at the end of the month, happier at the end of the year. We won't be suffering like everyone else through December and January. Right? And this is what we face. So those are the three aspirations that we have for the people in this business. Uh, to become a wealth engineer, our guests here this evening, you actually contract with Dewpoint. When you contract with us, we call you wealth engineers. And as wealth engineers, we only expect one thing from you, and that is for you to go out and build what we call channels of distribution. I'll show you what a channel of distribution looks like. Through these building of channels of distribution, which is really you just introducing people to Dewpoint, like you were introduced to Dewpoint. That is how this business works. Because through the people that you introduce to us, we'll attempt to place product with those people. The benefit for you is you get to create additional income. Right? This is why you're here this evening. Someone promised you cash. That's why you're here. But the nature of the income that you produce here is one of recurring nature. And the lack of this is why I walked away from my business after 17 years. Because I worked very much in a service-based business. I ran a digital agency, which is like an advertising agency, but we only worked in electronic media, websites, apps, that type of thing. And so we sold time, right? We had designers, developers working for us, account managers, some admin staff. And every month we would go run and look for business, and we would do the work and invoice the business, and at the end of the month we would start at zero again. It didn't matter what I did the month before, because we spent the money the month before. Salaries cost of living, all of that paid. Beginning of the month, I started zero again. I go run, look for all the business, do the business, invoice it. At the end of October, I started zero again. And I did this for 17 years. And this is what most of us do, right? If you're employed, you do the same thing. You've got to work for a month to get your salary. If you run small business and you're involved in trade, whether you're an electrician, a plumber, a hairdresser, a dentist, a lawyer, a doctor, you're doing the same thing. You're not creating recurring income for yourself. In this business, we get to create recurring income. The effort that you put into building your channel of distribution in the month of October doesn't pay you once off, only at the end of October. It'll potentially pay you in November again. It'll pay you in December again, January again, February again. It could potentially pay you for five years the work that you did in October 2017. And this is how you create recurring income. You also get to harness the power of duplication. This is leverage. Who gets the biggest salary in the company? The CEO, right? Businesses use leverage. The CEO gets the biggest bonus. He gets the biggest salary because he's leveraging all the staff that work for him. In this business, building these channels of distribution, we harness something similar. When you go out and you build these channels of distribution, you're actually going to be going out and recruiting people that will be collaborating with you and assisting you building your channel of distribution so that you can get a greater recurring income at the end of the month. This business is flexi time. You get to decide when you want to do this business. This is a double-edged sword because some people see it as a great benefit. I don't see it so much as a great benefit because unfortunately with majority of the people when you give them the option to decide when they feel like working, do you think they work when they need to work? They don't, unfortunately. This is a volunteer business, right? This business requires accountability, responsibility, maturity, leadership, if you want to make it work for yourself, if you want to be successful at it. So don't make the mistake of thinking, oh, Dewpoint is this great business that I want to get engaged with, 
but then you haven't decided how you're going to keep yourself accountable on a weekly or even a daily basis of how involved you're going to be in this business. Don't make that mistake. By the end of this presentation, if Dew Point's something you want to get involved with, at the same time decide how Dew Point fits in your life on a weekly basis and try to commit to that. There's no startup capital in our business. We don't have registration fees or joining fees. We don't have boxes of product that you have to buy to get involved in our business. We make this business risk-free, right? It becomes accessible to everybody. There's no qualifications or experience required in this business. I don't care whether you have matric or you don't have matric, whether you have work experience or not work experience. You could be a housewife with three kids at home. The business is for you if you want to get involved in it. So there's no excuse to getting involved in this business. The business becomes accessible to everyone. You get to build an asset. Now, this is one of the most important points or benefits on the slide. Because what happens in employment? We all work for how many years? 40 years? 45 years? You're going to work for somebody else, building somebody else's asset? I saw a great little meme. You know what a meme is? These things people send you on Facebook and WhatsApp to make you laugh. I saw this wonderful meme. This guy standing next to his Lamborghini. Right? He's six, seven, eight million rand car. And there's another man standing in front watching him. He says, oh, boss, that is a very nice car you got there. And the boss says, if you work really, really hard and you stay committed, I can buy another one next year. <laughs> right? That's what we're doing as employees. Work hard at your job. Stay committed. Be passionate about the business you work in so your boss can buy a nicer car. When are you going to do it for yourself? This business allows you to do it for yourself because this channel of distribution that you're growing is a legal asset that you have ownership over. You can sell it one day. You can give it to your kids. You can cede it to your beneficiaries. You can move it into a family trust. So when you ask yourself the question, why am I sacrificing time into this business on the side? It's because you own that business that you're putting in time into, right? There's no selling involved in this business. Now that might confuse some people. They're like, oh, what are we doing then? We actually contract you out of selling. You're not allowed to sell. We work in financial services. But this is a great benefit for you because who likes selling? Who likes trying to convince people to buy something, right? Not many of us. In this business, you're only going to be telling people about a business opportunity that exists. They have the option of coming to see what it's about or not. That's all you're going to be doing. The nature of our business is financial. Our products are financial in nature. It means we don't have the issues with distribution, with stock. Did anyone bring their uncle's bucky this evening? Thinking they were going home with stock. Right? You don't have to worry about that. Our products don't take up space at home. They don't expire. You don't have to order them from the counter. So we make this business as convenient and as easy as possible to get involved with. But this is all dependent on your ability to go out and build these channels of distribution. So what is a channel of distribution? It begins with you. You become a wealth engineer and you're going to go out and find capable, resourceful people that are going to be attracted to this business and do the same thing as you. Right? So if you're successful in that, yeah, you've got five people that you've brought into Dewpoint that have joined, taken one of our products, and they want to do the same thing as you. They want to change their circumstance. They want to move from the 98% to the 2%. They want to build something they have ownership over. They want to take control over their income. And when they start doing the same thing, you have this power duplication that starts to take place. All the dots that you see here belong to your business. This is your business. But how much effort did it take to bring in only five people? Because that's all you've done in this example, is brought in five capable people. You want to be in the position in this business, and we often talk about it. You want to be in the position where you build a sustainable enough channel, which will take around five years to do. But five years from now, if you put in consistent hard work in a business like this that you have ownership over that's creating recurring income, you can go on holiday for three months and get paid every single month while you're on holiday by due point. What happens if you try that at work? What will your boss say if you ask for three months leave? Huh? I laugh because I know he'll print out a letter that says either retrenchment at the top or resignation. And he'll say, sign here, you can take as much leave as you want. 
right? We don't have options. That's what this business is about. It's about creating options for you. So this is what a channel distribution looks like. I have my disclaimer slide. This is a warning slide because I know a lot of people come in with the expectation that this business is either one of these get-rich-quick schemes that promises you success easily. We're not one of those. We're a 70-year-old insurance company. You don't get more boring and legit than a 70-year-old insurance company. Right? But very reputable individuals in this organization. We would never risk our business, our reputation, on creating some division that sells some get-rich-quick scheme opportunity on the site. Never. This is an authentic business opportunity. And if you want to get engaged in one of these businesses, don't expect success quickly because that doesn't exist in any sphere of life. There's no such thing as success quickly. Nothing. Parenthood, marriage, church, it doesn't matter what it is. It does not exist. People that promise you success quickly are lying to you. And it's the same in this business. So the people that are interested in this business, you're going to know that I'm going to profess all the time that you have to put in long, hard work. When we talk long, we talk years and years. Hard work is just consistent. I promise you, we've designed this business that it's not going to kill you. Right? But if you're engaged in it consistently, it'll create value for you in the long term. And that's what this business is all about. Okay. So there's two ways to benefit in this business. One is through our returns program, and the second way is through our rewards program. So our returns program is what we pay you at the end of every single month, right? So we're going to discuss the returns program first. We pay a base return fee of 27.50 for every product that you have in your channel every single month. Remember, it's recurring income. Remember the first five people you introduced to Dewpoint? They lie on what we call your first point. They are one point away from you. You introduce them personally into the business, and on point one, we pay you double 27 Rand 50. So we actually pay you the 55 Rand. On your second point, this is when your first pointers go out and they bring other people into your business. That is your second point. And on your second point, we pay you 55 Rand again. On your third point, your fourth point, all the way down to your eighth point, you see the multiplier starts to drop. We're paying you 4% on point 8, but we don't limit you there. So from point 8 into infinity, because you could be here for 10 years, 20 years, your business will grow beyond point 8. We will keep paying you the 4%. We don't limit you on how big your channel can get at due point. We don't limit you on how much money you can earn at due point. The accountability will always lie upon your shoulders. You want more? You have to do more. Not me. The system, the platform, is just this intangible thing that's the same for everybody else. The variable that changes all the time is your effort, your input. So this is the mechanics of the returns. Very straightforward, I think. The question we get after that is, well, how much money can people earn in this business? So what we did was we built this projection. We call it the path to success. It is based on a growth formula. The growth formula assumes that a new wealth engineer can bring three people into the business in their first month. Right? So we're at the beginning of October. So you've got the whole of October to bring three people into the business. This is just an example. Then in November, you're going to bring in another two people. In December, another two people. In January, another two people. And you're going to keep bringing two new people every month into perpetuity. We call it the three plus two plus two plus two plus two growth formula. Right? If you can follow that growth formula, you can expect to earn these kind of numbers. Two and a half thousand rand after six months. See, I've got people frowning at me. No reaction when I talk about the money. Right? How does 2,500 rand sound? If I had it in an envelope behind you and I said, yes, 2,500 rand, do you want it? You'd take it, right? But if I said to you, you've got to work for six months, three plus two. Three in your first month, two months, two months, two months. You're going to put two, 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 two every month. Is 2,500 rand worth all of that work? I just got little nods. Some, uh, I don't know, maybe I should leave now. <laughs> Let me give you some context because what we do and what I do often is I make the mistake of thinking like a consumer, like a spender. I think like a spender all the time, every single day. I blame media, the industry I come from, right? Because if I say two and a half thousand rand already, you're thinking, what can I spend two and a half thousand rand on? I can buy maybe a handbag. Oh, I saw a nice handbag on Superbalist. Uh, Facebook, I saw something. 
Nikes for me. Mm, if I can buy shoes every month, I would buy shoes every month if I could. All right? So you say two and a half thousand rand. I say, right, an extra four hundred rand, I can get new Nikes. That's not a good way to think. That's how we all think. Employees, especially, we think like consumers, right? So I want to change the way you think. So I've got an example here. Two and a half thousand rand. I'm going to give you the future value of two and a half thousand rand that's going to affect your life personally in the long term. Here's an example of someone with debt. Remember our first aspiration was for you to become debt free, right? Here's someone with a million rand debt. They owe the bank one million rand for a property that they went and bought. They didn't buy it. They just entered into a contract with the bank. The bank bought the house. And you entered into a contract with the bank called a bond. And the bond says you will pay the bank back over a bond term, which is usually 20 years at the current interest rate. So you've got into agreement with the bank saying, I'll pay you back 11,500 Rand for the next 20 years before you own that house. I'm 40. When I'm 60, I eventually own that house. 20 years paying 11,500 Rand every month. Right? But you join Dewpoint six months later with some success. You're earning 2,500 Rand. You take the 2,500 Rand and instead of spending it like a consumer, you decide to pay your debt off a little faster. You put that 2,500 Rand as an additional payment into your bond. What happens? You'll reduce the term from 20 years to 11 and a half years. You will be 51. I will be 51 when I pay the house off instead of 60. What's going on? Family emergency or a late wealth engineer? Right? I'll be 51 and I'll pay the house off. That's eight and a half years that I don't have to pay 11 and a half thousand rand anymore. Right? Do you know how much money that saves you in repayments? Anyone want to guess how much money you've just saved yourself with two and a half thousand rand? You've just saved yourself a million rand in repayments back to the bank. There's a million rand sitting there in savings. Six months down the line. Twelve months, you're on over 100,000 rand in annual recurring income that you created for yourself. Put your hand up if you're expecting a 100,000 rand bonus at the end of this year. Nobody. Huh? It's 12 months away. After 24 months, we're on 30,000 rand a month. Think about all the items on your cost of living monthly cost of living. How many of them can you tick off with an extra 30,000 rand a month? After 36 months, we are nearly 50,000 rand a month. You want to look at future value again? At the 30 month mark, you're probably making 36,000 rand a month. Here's an example of a 5 million rand bond. You put 36,000 rand into a 5 million rand bond as an additional payment, you'll pay a 5 million rand house off in less than 7 years. Nearly 6.5 years you pay that house off. At 47, I can pay my first house off, 5 million rand, paid off. Buy another house. I start renting that house out for 25, 30,000 rand a month. At the age of 54, I paid the second house off. I buy a third house. Now I'm renting out two houses. At the age of 61, I own 15 million rand in property assets. Or, because that's a very boring thing to do, to pay off debt, I can buy a brand new Porsche. Who's with me with a, on the Porsche? It's a bad decision, right? That is exactly what we shouldn't do, right? That's why I have a wife, because my wife tells you, sorry for you, you're not doing that. So you see that it requires maturity? It's easy to spend money. Easy to spend money. But to make a decision 21 years before you can realize the fruit of that maturity, whew, that's a big decision, right? For me to decide now and only have the realization 21 years later, that's a big decision. We keep going. After 48 months, you close to 70,000 Rand a month. And after 60 months, a short five years, we're on a million Rand in annual recurring income. You want to talk about options? Who's got the option now, today, to tell their bosses what they really think of them? Huh? We don't, right? But where in this path to success can you tell your boss what you think of them? How much money does Dewpoint need to pay you before you can tell your boss what you really think about them? 
And it doesn't matter if you get fired or retrenched or retired. It doesn't matter because you've created value in this channel of distribution that you've created for yourself. So this is all academic. It's just theory. It's based on this 3 plus 2 model. The 3 plus 2 is just an example. It's just an example. You can join this business today. Do nothing. Treat it like a New Year's resolution. You know the New Year's resolution? We try to stop smoking, stop drinking, stop swearing, lose weight. Did any of that work? Usually not very well, right? In this business, you have to make it work. Because we're not talking about losing weight or stopping smoking. We're talking about your life. You're going to get to retirement like the other 98% of the population and realize that a government grant is not going to get you anywhere. That the investment that you thought you were making, the little bit of money that you're putting into a retirement fund is only going to be paying you out 1,000, 2,000 rand a month. You have to make this work for yourself. What other options do we have? We don't have any other options. So this is all by example. Like I said, you can do nothing, part of the zero plus zero club, or you're not happy with two and a half thousand rand after six months. You can do more than that, right? We were lots of wealth engineers doing more than that. Yeah, you can see. Safisa joined at the end of April. Within a month, he was earning 715 rand. 60 days later, 4,000 rand a month. In 90 days, he created 4,000 rand a month in recurring income for himself. Middle of September, middle of last month, he was at nearly 10,000 rand a month. Reynold and Rumbi, similar. Joined middle of April, 1,500 rand after the first month. 60 days later, 5,000 rand a month, nearly 10,000 rand a month by the middle of September. Ruler from Marsha, they joined us last year when we launched the business, beginning of February. Their income has gone up every single month that they've been with us. Has your income gone every, up every single month with your employer? No? We beg for 7% a year. We beg for it. Sometimes we have to toy toy for it. Right? In this business, you take control over your income. You take control of it. You don't have to listen to your boss saying, oh, the company is not doing well. Oh, the economy is not doing well. Oh, the politician decided to do this and the economy has done this. Or this, that. It doesn't matter. In this business, you take control over your income for the first time. If you want more money next month, it's there for you. But you have to do it. You don't get a phone call from me or Brendan saying, oh, look, see, you had a slow month last month. What's going on there at home? You don't get that phone call from us. In work, you come to work late, the boss raises his eyebrow at you when you walk in. You come to work late again, written warning. Work again, written warning. Late again, written warning. Disciplinary process. Fired. You can join the 10 million unemployed. Right? In this business, you have to do it for yourself. You've got to wake up in the morning and decide, I'm going to do this. It's difficult because I see how many zero plus zero people there are in our business. It's unfortunately just the way it is. We've got hundreds of wealth engineers that we pay every single month that have created an income for themselves over and above what they're getting from their employers. They've made something extra for themselves, right? You need to decide how much you want. I don't decide it. Two and a half thousand rand after six months is just my nice example that I like to use. If you want 5,000 after six months, that's for you. If you want 1,000 after six months, that's fine. It can be for you as well. But for once, the decision is ours. So that's the returns program. Remember I said there's two ways to earn in this business. That was the returns program, what we pay you at the end of every month. The second way is through our rewards program. So the rewards program works like this. You become a wealth engineer, you're going to start doing wealth engineer things, like coming to presentations bringing guests with you, watching training, logging into your app on your phone, when you do things like that. And there's about 20 different things you can do. When you do these things, we give you something called XP. It stands for experience points. You can't swap it for Bitcoin or Rands or Zim dollars. XP has got no value. It just indicates to us how active you are as wealth engineers. 
And when you start collecting more and more XP and your business starts to grow, your channel of distribution starts to grow, we reward you along the way, right? Some fun in the business. So, if you go from guest to wealth engineer this evening, you will start out as a rank zero wealth engineer. Can you see? We didn't even bother putting you on the screen. See, there's no rank zero. It's because you mean nothing. You've done nothing. You earn nothing. Your channel's worth nothing. But when you start working, right, and you get 1,000 XP, and your business grows to four, P, four products in your qualified channel, you'll suddenly become rank one. We'll be paying you a return, right, the monthly return. But in the rewards program, we give you an extra 55 Rand because you've gotten to rank one. And then you're going to start ranking up, right, because you're going to be in the business all the time, I hope. 100 Rand, 400 Rand, 1,500 Rand, 20,000 Rand, 50,000 Rand. We give tools to our wealth engineers that help them be more effective in growing their channels of distribution. Here's Patrick and Pumi at rank five. We give all our rank fives the special little USB stick. These little U lightning USB sticks that we give out plug into any device. You can plug them into Apple devices, Android devices, banana devices, whether it's a phone or a tablet or a TV, a laptop, a computer, you can plug it into anything. So Patrick and Pumi can show people the dew point opportunity because the videos are on there to anyone regardless of the device that's sitting around there, right? Rank seven, we get premium business cards manufactured for our wealth engineers. They cost us 12 and a half thousand rand a set. When you feel one of these business cards, you will feel the 12 and a half thousand rand sitting in that business card because there's no ink on this business card. They are gilded and the logo is foiled on there in gold. The business cards are four times thicker than the other card. Black suede paper. That is just nice to touch. When you have the business card, you just want to touch it and touch it and touch it, stroke it. Right? Like my four-year-old daughter's doo-doo. You know doo-doo? Little luppy. You know luppy? She strokes that luppy all the time. It makes her feel good. Patrick and Pumi, they stroke their business cards. It makes them feel good. But what is the value of these business cards? 12,500 Rand business cards. When you go out and you speak to someone about Dewpoint, the odds are they've never heard of us before. Right? So you have no credibility. But I promise you, when you give them a 12,500 Rand business card in their hand, when they realize your business card is about 50 times more expensive than the one they've got, your credibility goes up. They're willing to listen to you some more. Right? These are tools to help you build your channels more effectively and faster. At rank 9, we take our wealth engineers and their families on our international conference at 7 days away to a 5-star luxury resort we fly business class with the whole family. This is not a reward that happens once off. All the other rewards, one to eight, are all once offs. Once off, once off, once off. When you get to rank nine, you get to enjoy rank nine international conference every single year with your family for the rest of your life. We had one gentleman get to rank nine in five months. Five months, but there's no time limit on it. Take a look at where we're going this year. And decide if you are coming with us in future or not. All of your wind has gone, and all of the path you've drawn have sunk to the ocean sand where no one can see. You stand all at the dark.
If you can get to rank 1, you can get to rank 9. The activity is exactly the same the whole way through. If you can prove to yourself you can get to rank 1, there's no reason why you can't get to rank 9. Like I said, there's no time limit on this. It is a decision you make. Accountability again. At rank 11, we spent a quarter of a million rand on a brand new car for our wealth engineer. No debit order at the end of the month. Can you see that we're trying to get you closer to becoming debt-free? Debt-free. Remove that crippling factor from your life. So this is our rewards program. This is the second way to benefit as a wealth engineer. And there's actually a third way to benefit as a wealth engineer. We call it a wealth quest. A wealth quest is a challenge that we issue to our wealth engineers every single month. Every month there's a different challenge with a different reward. This month it's called explosive growth. Right? Can you see what we want out of you? The name says it all. October's Wealth Quest. Bring seven new wealth engineers into your channel. Get two of them qualified, right? Which means you help them get three of their own uh, wealth engineers. And if you do that, you'll have a brand new iPhone and 2,000 XP by the end of next month. Then if you want to go further with our more wealth, uh, experienced wealth engineers, if they can reinstate another three wealth engineers that were in their channel that had cancelled or lapsed out the system, if you can reinvigorate those people and bring them into the business, there's an extra 3,000 Rand waiting for you for the end of the next month. Plus whatever return you've created for yourself and plus the XP rewards that you'll be closer to earning in that month. So those are the three ways to benefit as wealth engineers. Returns, rewards, wealth quests. We get asked the question, was, how does Dewpoint afford all of these things? This basically explains our business model. Traditional businesses, especially insurance companies like Prime Meridian down the road. They spend a lot of money on advertising and marketing every single month, right, for client acquisition. At Dewpoint, you won't see our logo outside of this building because we don't spend a cent on marketing or advertising. We don't do any of it. We rely on our wealth engineers to speak to people and tell them about the Dewpoint business opportunity. We don't spend the billions that the insurance industry spends every single year on marketing and advertising. We take that portion of our premium and we pay it to our partners, to our wealth engineers in the form of these returns and rewards and wealth quests that we've just spoken about. Hope that explains it. Fairly simple. Let's talk about our products. So we've got three products here at Dewpoint. You are welcome to look at taking out one product or all three products. It's completely up to you. It's a personal decision. We start with Access Wealth. The Access Wealth plan is made up of two products. So the Access Wealth plan costs 299 Rand a month. 100 Rand will go into a tax-free investment account that sits with Sunlum. It's not a notice or a fixed deposit. Right? That investment that you're putting in 100 Rand every month is completely flexible. You can draw your investment out of this tax-free investment account at any stage. On top of that, we give you 110,000 Rands with a personal accident cover. So if you have this investment product, you killed in a car accident, for example, we'll pay out your beneficiaries 110,000 Rand plus whatever's sitting in your investment. So this is the product number one, Access Wealth Plan. Product number two is called the Wealth Guard. 274 Rand a month, you get 1.1 million Rands worth of personal accident cover. This is purely an insurance product, right? So product number one, Access Wealth, was more an investment product. This is only insurance. 274 Rand, 1.1 million Rand in personal accident cover. The beauty of our personal accident cover is that we don't profile you from a risk point of view, right? So we don't send a nurse to come do blood and uh, urine tests and ask you for your medical history for the last 40 years. Everyone's profile is the same. So we're able to offer anyone this product that's over the age of 18. You can be 80, you can be diabetic, you can still take out this product. The premium remains the same. The amount of cover that you receive remains the same. Product number three is called the Wealth Points Buyers Club Program. This product aims to save you money on the money you're spending every month anyway. So for 274 Rand a month, you get to enjoy the discounts that we've negotiated with the list of partners that you see there. So we've got always on Wi-Fi data, 36 Rand for a gig of data. We've got all the retailers, Hershey's, Yuppie Chef, ShopRite, take a lot. How much money are we spending on groceries every month? More and more every week, right? Here you get between 2.5% and 5% of your entire spend every time you go shop at these retailers. We've got Eagle Ford. We've got a host of other 
partners. We are always adding partners to this program. If you're looking for immediate benefit, this is a great product to have, right? So those are the three products. You can take one, you can take two, you can take three. It's up to you. If you have any questions, come speak to me about the products afterwards. What is the decision we're making this evening? We are sitting here on a Tuesday night. I assume everyone is in the same pain that I'm in. We all have some financial pain, right? Is this the solution to it? I hope your imagination ran wild. When we were going through that path to success, 30,000 Rand a month, 50,000 Rand a month, a million Rand annual recurring income, that is what is on offer. But you have to make the decision to do this business. Can't sit back and wait anymore. 98% of the population sit back hoping something's going to change. Are you going to be part of the 98% or are you going to be part of the 2%? Do you wait another year, another two years, another three years, another four years before you decide, well, I have to do something? It has to start now. And it starts with you making a decision as to whether you want this or not. We've made this business as low risk as possible. You can join and become a wealth engineer. Tomorrow you can find client service and say, I don't want to be a wealth engineer. Cancel everything. Simple as that. You can change your products if you don't like your products. You want one product, try it this month, you can change it to the next month. We don't lock you into anything here. We don't want people that don't want to do the business. We want people that want to do the business. So if you get involved in this, get stuck in and start doing it. Like I said, we've got a large zero plus zero club here at this office, in this business. Right? It is easy to get excited. I want you to take the excitement away. Don't get hyped up by this presentation. Picture yourself on the beach. Take it away. Rank 9. I'm taking rank 9 away. I'm taking the cell phone away. I'm taking the 3,000 rand cash away. This business is about creating recurring income. That is where the value is. That's what you have to get excited about. The 55 rand of recurring income that you can create for yourself for every product, every single month in your business. That's what you have to be focused on. And that requires work. You've got to get excited about rank one. Do you remember how much money was on offer at rank one? You've forgotten about it because it was so small. It was 55 rand for rank one. Right? Get excited about rank one. Because if you prove to yourself that you can get to rank one, you can get to rank two, you can get to rank three, you can get to rank nine, you can get a quarter of a million rand card, rank 11. The program goes down to rank 28. What happens at rank 28? If you're getting a car at rank 11. Hmm? House. A house. Someone said last time a new husband. <laughs> Put your hand up if you want a new husband. <laughs> new wife. Huh? That's on offer. But it is so easy to get excited. We see so many people get excited. They're going to tell me they're going to do this. I'm going to do that. I know so many people here. I know so many people there. I'm going to be rich by the end of the year. I hear it every single day. I don't want to hear it. Hard work happens behind the scenes. Right? If I see you in my face telling me how great you're going to be, I'm seeing you not working. That's what I'm seeing. Go do the work behind the scenes. I promise you, it is rewarding. It will change your life. It's not a New Year's resolution. We are talking about changing generations to come. They will talk about the family member that changed the lives of the whole family. The first family member that put the kids through university, that paid for school fees a year up front. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what's happened in the past. I don't care what's happened in the past for people. This is an equal playing field for once. It's up to you guys. We make joining very easy. Get started. Make sure you read our code of, conduct, uh, code of conduct. It is our contract with you. It defines what you can and cannot do in this business. Make sure you read it. When you become a wealth engineer, start applying yourself to your channel. Right? It doesn't happen automatically. This is business. Business requires a lot of work, a lot of thought, strategy, planning. Right? So make sure you go look at the training. We don't have a lot of training. There's about seven videos that form part of our basic series. You don't have to go study for five years at university to be told you're not going to get a job because of the workplace. It's seven hours of video that you have to go watch to understand how this business operates. 
Set goals for yourself. Make sure you've got short-term and long-term goals. What are you going to be happy with? Is it when you get to a million rand a year? What does it look like for you? Decide what your goals are and hold yourself accountable to the goals. Prepare a plan. You've got to be accountable to the plan again. It has to be a weekly plan, right? Dew point has to become part of your life. And then start talking to people. Easiest thing in the world. That's all we require in this business is for you to go tell people about dew point. That's it. We've got merchandise. Not a profit center for us. Make sure you get business cards. You cannot propose a business a proposition to somebody and not have business cards. It's unprofessional. It brings down your credibility. So we've got business cards, right? Get a 500 business cards. I think it's 625 rand. Make sure you get the business cards. We've got all the other uh, merchandise that's on display in the cabinet. The pricing's on the counter. We're going to East London this weekend. Very exciting. Does anyone know anyone in the Eastern Cape? No? Yes? Make sure they're coming to you. This is your opportunity to get part of your business to start growing in another province. If you speak to any of the big wealth engineers in our business, they've got businesses in more than one province. We're going to be there for the whole day. Make sure that your guys get down to the ICC on Saturday and get plugged into this business. You never know what that person could do for your business. Right? Third degree Thursday. So on Thursday... It's an intro presentation like this one that Brendan's going to be giving, but we're going to have a change of format. We're going to have wealth engineers up on the stage talking about the issues they experience in this business, the obstacles, the objections that they get, so that we can discuss the solutions, right? So Thursday is a great format for you because it's going to speak to all the challenges that you have in your business, in talking about the business, expanding your channel of distribution, so make sure that you plug into it whether you're here at head office, whether you're tuning into the live stream, don't miss Thursday. We've got a new mobile app, right? So if you become a wealth engineer, make sure you download the mobile app. It works on Android and Apple devices. In the mobile app, you have the opportunity to upload a profile photo. Do that as priority because you get 1,000 XP the moment you upload your, your selfie. No duck lips. Right? This is a passport photo with a smile, right? I have access to those photos. I'll look at them. None of these. Get the 1000 XP. Download the new mobile app. We've got a YouTube channel. All our video. We've got about 500 videos on that YouTube channel. There is an ocean of knowledge waiting for you. Knowledge that will empower you towards wealth and success in this business. So subscribe to the YouTube channel and get stuck into this business. Some do's and don'ts. Actually, this is only about don'ts. So some warnings because I'm tired of dealing with the people that are transgressing on the code of conduct. Number one, become a wealth engineer if you can't afford it. So it's don't become a wealth engineer if you cannot afford it. Sometimes people are pushed into becoming wealth engineers, but they can't afford the products. It's not for you. This business is not designed for everybody, right? You don't have access to the internet. This business relies on information data over the internet, right? So you need a smartphone. You need access to the internet. You need access to data to thrive in this business. If you struggle with transport, this business is a face-to-face -face business. Don't think you can do this business on Facebook. It doesn't work on Facebook. This is face-to-face. -face. This is relationships. When I propose a business opportunity, I do it face-to-face -face or over the phone with you. I know who you are. I know what your needs are. I want you in my business because I know you're capable and resourceful. It's not get someone off the street who wants to make more money in my business. This is not one of these businesses. Never complete an application form on behalf of somebody else. That is against the law. You're actually participating in a fraudulent event if you do that. We see it happening. Even at our head office, people will blatantly be with a page filled out with someone's details doing the application for somebody else. The police station is close by here. We'll call them. Guys, it's a warning. Do not do that. Please tell everybody in your channel that they cannot do that. When you do an application, the person that is applying as a wealth engineer has to be the person entering into the contract and going through the application themselves. Number three, no stacking. This is no direct family members within your household in the same channel as you, right? 
What does that mean? It means you can't be the wealth engineer and bring your husband or wife or your children in. Unless your children have moved out of house and started their own families, then they can be in your channel. Not a problem. But if you're in the same household, you cannot be in the same channel. Because what happens? One person does all the work and I've got to pay for everybody in the family. doesn't work like that. Number four, do not start your own Facebook page. Who's been thinking about that already? Mm -hmm, I'm very good on Facebook. <laughs> do not do that. Please, it never works. I come from that industry. I know social media really well. Like I said, on one of the previous points, I said this is a very much one-on-one -on -one business, right? It's about relationship that I have with the people bringing into the... Relationships don't form on Facebook. Don't go out and think, I'm going to start this Facebook page. I'm going to start spamming all these looking for job groups that exist on Facebook or uh, Santon Facebook group. I'm going to spam it on there and people are just going to join. It doesn't work like that. Don't do it. It comes up on our radar. We've got a company that is contracted just to look for those items coming up on Facebook. We get a report, lands on my desk, and then I phone you. I cry for a little bit, 30 seconds. I cry on the phone for 30 seconds because you made me sad. Then I shout at you. Then I say, remove it. I suspend your account as well because you're in transgression of the code of conduct because the code of conduct explicitly says do not market dew point on social media. So those are our don'ts. You're now set to go. Rank one by tomorrow. Who's going to be rank one by tomorrow? There we go. We've got three ladies. Okay, I look forward to that. Guys, our wealth engineers. So this is a reminder to our wealth engineers. 58 days left of spring vision. I'm going to hop on it about, uh, I'm going to go on about it again and again. You need to start working in this business. I'm tired of the zero plus zero club. What do I need to do to get you guys to start working? Do you really want it? How badly do you want to change your life? You have to ask yourself that question. Who's ever had a meeting in the mirror in the mornings? You ever woken up in the morning and look at yourself in the mirror? You have a little meeting. Right? Sometimes it's required. You have to ask yourself, what am I doing? Am I going to be doing the same thing for the next five years, the next ten years? Am I going to be in the same position I was five years ago? I look at my life. When I spent working in that business for 17 years, nothing changed in that 17 years. I was forever hopeful that something was going to change and suddenly the business was going to make me rich and wealthy. It never did. I walked away from the business. I gave my shares over to somebody else for nothing. Zero to show for it after 17 years. That's what small, medium business looks like. You have to do this for yourselves. We've created a platform that works for everybody. Guys, get plugged into it. I don't know what else to say. This is spring. You should feel revitalized, right? The weather is good. You feeling good? Go speak to people. This is a positive thing to bring into somebody's life. Don't feel like it's a burden. Don't feel pressure for someone to say, yes, I think dew point's great. You go speak to the majority of them, are going to say no to you. Do you realize that? If you speak to ten people, seven or eight are going to say, go away. But those two, those two that say yes, are going to form part of the wealth that you create in your life. When you move from the 98% to the 2% of people that get to retirement with a smile on your face saying, I'm fine for retirement. From 60 to the age of 90, I'm going to be fine because DuPont's going to keep paying me while I'm retired. Doesn't happen in employment. So go out and do it, guys. Please do it. October is supposed to be our biggest month. Last year, October was DuPont's biggest month by miles. I want to see it happen again this October. Do it for your own business. We're doing it for each other. It's not just for me. It's for each other. That's it, guys. I thank you for your time. If you have any questions, come speak to me. Have a wonderful week. I look forward to the ladies who are getting to rank one by tomorrow. <laughs>